Hey everyone, this is Todd Hirsch with How HubSpot Works. Today we're going to talk about the Style Manager and how it works with HubSpot landing pages. Uh, log into your HubSpot and go to Content, Content Settings. And then click on Style Manager down here, Content Tools, Style Manager. So what is the Style Manager? Basically this uh, helps you uh, define all the styles, right? All of the CSS settings and all the basic look and feel of your pages. So obviously this is pretty important and uh, HubSpot has made it pretty easy for you to do whatever you need to do. So when you get to the style manager here, you can see um, here on the right side is the the view of whatever style you happen to be selecting here. Now you can see here in the upper left, HubSpot has some basic uh, styles, some out of the box styles that they've set up for you. So if you can click on these different ones and you can see kind of how they look a little bit. Uh, you can see there's different uh, color schemes, uh, different uh, font sizes, all that kind of good stuff. So, and that's sort of interesting. Typically though, what you're going to want to do is set up your own unique branded style for your own company or website. So that's where you get into custom styles. Now to create your own custom style, uh, it's really pretty easy. Uh, just go up to this uh, button up here, New, and click on it. And uh, it'll automatically uh, say, okay, create a new style. So you can, you can create a name for that new style. We'll just call it... Um, style manager demo and let's just go through all the different things that you can do here so um, there's color there's font changes there's structure and then there's advanced so let's go ahead and take a look at those things so color um, there's just lots of different things you can change here and frankly there's not um, a lot of things you can't change here if you want to use your custom CSS file you can absolutely do that but it might be just easier to just use this tool. It made it pretty easy. So uh, accent color, background color. Now let's just change the background color to something like here. So you just click into it. And let's say we might kind of want to make it a kind of a lighter uh, blue. There we go. We do that. Uh, header color. Again, uh, here's the headers here. So right now they're kind of black. We could just make them kind of a... Uh, Let's make them a, a kind of a dark blue, shall we say? Maybe like something like that. You can see the change there. You can see now it's more of a blue color. So then click out of that and you're done there. Uh, then moving on down to something a little bit more um, dramatic. Uh, link color, that's a good one. So here's the standard blue. Um, right here, let's make that um, let's make that kind of red, just for the heck of it. And you can see how it's changes to a red color there and so forth. Um, so you can do that with header colors and footer paragraph colors, um, uh, all kinds of different things here. That's the color section of the um, of the style manager. Uh, when you get into fonts, that's the next uh, section over, um, they have all of the uh, default fonts families here that you can use. Uh, so that's pretty uh, pretty useful. It's got certainly got enough out-of-the-box fonts for you to use. Uh, that and it can be again all header. The link font can change. The paragraph font. Um, you can really um, get pretty granular here in terms of the well, different fonts that you use. Even the font that's used on the buttons, which is pretty useful. So um, the form as well. So the next uh, section that we look at here in the style manager is this, is the structure uh, section, which is pretty interesting. Uh, this is where you control the width of your landing page. So you know how you can go make it really thin and skinny like that, or you can make it really wide, bring it all the way out here and make a really wide uh, landing page with you know nothing on the in the con nothing in the background area. So um, this is actually a really useful feature and makes it extremely simple to do that with no coding whatsoever. Um, down here is button style. So there's some out of the box button styles here. Here's the the uh, the button here. Um, with a primary style, but you can change that to pill shape, and it'll do kind of the rounded edges, or simple, it gives you that, rectangular, and push, which is, gives you a little bit of a kind of a 3D effect. Um, there's also accent height, 
there is coziness. Coziness is um, how close each of the modules get to each other. Uh, it, it adjusts to a certain degree, but not a whole lot. Um, there's um, roundness and image roundness. So, for example, um, if you look, at, you can take a look at this image here. It's got the square edges here. You can look at image roundness and change that, and you can see how the image changes. Kind of a nice feature there. Uh, you don't have to. You can do that automatically without having to to change the image at all. So um, that's pretty cool. And then you have uh, different alignments down here. So for example, logo alignment. Here, the logo, if it was up here, you could change that from left, center, or full. Uh, section header, this is considered a section header module type. So you could just change that and it'll automatically move over. Paragraph headers, these are paragraph headers. So you can change those and move them. It'll kind of center those. Paragraph alignment, that's the copy here. So um, that, if you want to make that centered or uh, full, you could do that or write justified. So um, all kinds of different alignments, uh, stuff going on there. And then the last section is the advanced. Um, advanced is really for um, your custom styles. So you can either include a uh, CSS file, uh, your own CSS file, and uh, you just access that uh, here. Uh, you have to upload the CSS file to the file manager first, and then you'd, you'd see it here. Um, or you can just add your custom CSS styles directly in this field here. So um, pretty much anything you want to do uh, from a style, look and feel perspective, you can do uh, with the uh, style manager. So um, that is the basic overview. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. All right, thanks very much.